you probably came out of Deadpool and Wolverine in all of the amazing opening sequence, or even Hugh Jackman's physique. This means that you probably didn't notice that the ending of the movie is all wrong. After scouring through the vast multiverse, I figured out why the ending doesn't make sense, and it isn't what it seems. Come again. Now, huge, huge Jackman spoilers ahead, as this does quite literally ruin the ending of the movie, and also this is just a theory, and theory can only take you so far, so you have been warned. So after Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine destroyed the Time Ripper, B-15 arrives and mentions that the timeline has now extended its lifespan due to something that happened as a result of them destroying it. Then she also mentions that Wolverine's universe can't be restored, and so Deadpool invites Wolverine to eat dinner with him, Wade and Vanessa rekindle their relationship and Laura is also there. The film then closes out showing their masks. The post credit scene then shows what Johnny really said about Cassandra Nova and so far it's a pretty happy ending all around, except for the fact that it isn't and there are many things hidden in the ending. But before I go all out insane multiversal theory mode, there is actually a glaring plot hole that needs to be addressed. Logan takes place in 2029, which Ryan Reynolds is very much aware of. Logan uh, takes place in 2029, mm -hmm. totally separate thing. This movie, however, takes place in 2024, as evident with the six year time jump from 2018. This means at the end of the movie, there are two Wolverines and two Lauras living in the X-Men timeline. One living with Deadpool whilst the other is chilling with the X-Men for a few years until Charles has the seizure that kills everyone. And the other Laura most likely hasn't been experimented on yet. This also might explain who's creating the mutant safe haven that Logan takes Laura to. Now, if we learn anything from Multiversal Madness, we know that two variants of the same person live in the same timeline isn't really a good thing and will eventually lead to the destruction of the universe. Now if this Wolverine is permanently settling into this universe instead of his home one then perhaps he might be the one to cause the incursion that kickstarts Secret Wars alongside all of the other multiverse hoppers like Doom. There is also the very real possibility that he could just be visiting Deadpool with the help of B-15 but when you think about it Wolverine has no need to return back to his timeline with no X-Men around so he's most likely staying in this universe. Now the movie never explicitly states what universe this Wolverine is from. So what if this Wolverine is actually from the MCU? Now before you nerds rush to the comment section and start commenting, hear me out for a second. He might be the one that was mentioned in the bar fight in She-Hulk, which you guessed it takes place between both 2024 and 2025, which just so happens to be the point at which this movie is set. Though he does mention that he is over 200 years old, meaning that it's likely that he's in 2030 something. So it is likely that it is in 2024 and he just rounds up his age. And he might have spent decades in the MCU mourning the deaths of the X-Men and the bar fight that's mentioned is the bar fight that we see in the movie. Sort of fight at least. But for there to be no records of any mutants means that some sort of runes of Kafka must have happened. So if this Wolverine is from the MCU then having him in the X-Men universe will cause an incursion between the two leading to an Avengers vs X-Men movie and even Secret Wars. Now Hunter B-15 does say that his universe can't be restored but she doesn't mean it in the sense that his universe has been destroyed it just means that the X-Men can't be brought back to life. And perhaps it might be because it's the main MCU timeline and bringing back all of the X-Men X-Men will ruin everything that's happened for the past 10 plus years. Deadpool also mentions in the ending that he might try to actually join the Avengers since he actually has something worth fighting for and we see him try this in the main 6 on 6 timeline. So what if Deadpool is the one to cause the incursion alongside Wolverine? Even Blade, Elektra and Gambit might have returned to the X-Men timeline and cause incursions. But to be sure that we don't suffer an incursion, subscribe to the channel, it'll keep you safe. Paradox also mentions that the Time Ripper is powered by both matter and antimatter and if they were to touch it and let it flow through their body, they will be destroyed on the atomic level but they somehow survive unharmed. Now the movie simply explains this as the power of friendship, but that's just lazy writing. So let's have some fun with this. So instead, what if they survive thanks to Loki or B-15? There is evidence for this because earlier on in the movie, Paradox mentions that Deadpool was chosen for a higher purpose by someone higher up the TVA. Now this higher up official could be Loki or B-15 who are keeping them alive in order to fight these Kang variants since he's the only Deadpool variant not in Cassandra Nova's mind control who's in the void. The higher up official is most likely B-15 and not Loki, maybe because Loki is just a bit too busy holding the literal fabric of reality together and so Deadpool and Wolverine might have actually died in that scene but were given a second chance or third in the case of Deadpool to live on. This might also explain why Deadpool is just casually chilling at the TVA in the post credit scene because we don't ever see him get the temp pad back off Paradox. So what if B-15 let him live on so that she can hire him in the team designed to fight Kang since the TVA is most likely unaware of Doom at this point. Plus we still need to find out why Thor was crying so they'd probably let him live. Video coming soon on that. Now the ending could 
could simply just be a happy, wholesome ending, which makes sense thematically as well, since both Deadpool and Wolverine have found people to whom they matter and have found a purpose, but it still doesn't explain why Deadpool's in the TVA. And if you look closely at the camera in the post credit scene, it does look like Kevin from She-Hulk, who was supposedly the one behind everything in the MCU. So what if he is the higher up person who chose Deadpool since Deadpool and She-Hulk are the only ones who could be aware of him since they break the full fall. But we won't really know what this means until Avengers Doomsday. And comment below your thoughts and subscribe whilst you're there.